My 2012 Scion XD had track off light and check engine light on. Based on some YouTube videos, it could be a bad fuel cap. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace fuel cap and the spark plugs. Stay tuned. Okay, uh, I'm going to replace uh, the uh, fuel cap. So this is um, the old one. This is the old one right here. And um, this one say um, uh, need to be tightened until one click. And it has a check engine uh, icon or symbol in here too. And this is the new one. Uh, I bought this from Toyota dealer for like a twenty-six dollars, and this is the model, same model. It, it is a, a genuine OEM. This is new one, and this is the old one. So they are the same one. So always buy thing from the 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 dealer. That way you will get a uh, original. Um, uh, item or product from the old, uh, from the uh, dealer. So this is what I bought from uh, the local Toyota dealer, and for twenty six dollars. And as you can see, they are identical. So let's put the new one on it. Okay. So before I uh, put the new one on, I can check to see if the old one still good and any good. Normally, when you tie the uh, the um, uh, gas cap or fuel cap on it, it should get like a one click, like that. Okay. So this this may still be good, but based on the uh, information I search online, they're saying that um, I mean it can be the uh, gas cap or fuel cap that did not sell um, the uh, gas tank properly. So if you have a, a leaking or losing a, a gas cap or fuel cap, then it can cause uh, the engine, check engine light comes on and also the track uh, light uh, comes on. So this for a better uh, or for to make sure I got it fixed. So I wouldn't rather spend $26 to buy a uh, fuel cap to replace it since uh, my old one has been um, 12 or um, 12 years o o already so I will go ahead and replace um, this um, fuel cap so this this is the new one as you can see it click once okay and I open it it's looking good and put this in here and that's all you need to do right there so I have tight it close it okay so I got the um, new one replaced I want to make sure what's exactly wrong with my car I used an OBDI scan tool to scan my car to see what kind of code do I get After I connected the OBDI scan tool to the scanning port, I turned the ignition into the on position. Press the link or scan button on the scanning tool to start scanning. I got a P0301 code, cylinder 1 misfire detected. This indicated that I had a bad spark plug. Okay, uh, based 
on um, the skin too is saying that um, one of the uh, um, spot plug is no good like a cylinder one malfunction or whatever that is so today I'm going to uh, replace the other spot plugs on this um, 2012 um, Scion XD so let's stay tuned and see how I did it these are the new spot plugs um, that I bought from local Toyota um, dealer and each of these cost about $18 and here are the part number um, the total of these uh, four spot plugs cost me about $80 and plus the uh, fuel cap, so cost me around hundred something dollars. Okay, so I'm going to replace um, these uh, spot plugs right here. So um, to remove this uh, cover, just pop this thing out, and let's put this somewhere. And here are the um, cylinder or spot plug that I need to be replaced. So it's over here. The first one is right here. Followed by second one, right there. Uh, the third one, and the fourth one is right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove this plug right here, there, there before I move uh, the um, uh, ignition coil, coil. So let's stay tuned how I did it. Removing the bolt first. that secured the ignition coil. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pry this thing out of here, this cable out of here, this plug out of here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to put the yeah, small Phillips into this thing, so I can pry this thing out of here. Okay. After using the small flathead screwdriver and it didn't work well. This time I will be using the locking plier. I don't want to break this thing so I'll make sure I have a good grip. Okay, do that. I want to make sure the plier is locked in place. Before I pull the wire off the ignition coil, grab this thing and then pull it out. So it's much easier this way. I use long nose plier, grab this thing, and then pull it out. So it's much easier this way. And make sure you don't make sure you don't break this thing right here. Once you break it, then it's no good. Same thing I'm going to do with the same thing on this one right here. So I'm gonna have to make sure I have good grab. Okay, like that. Oh, this. Okay, that's easy. Okay, so I have all the um, um, connector disconnected. After pulling the ignition coil off the cylinder head, it's time to remove the spark plug out of the cylinder head spark plug housing. The best socket extender for this job is the 6 inches as I tried. 
turn counterclockwise to loosen the spark plug. Okay, this is the uh, old one right here. I finally got it out by using this um by using this magnetic to grab this thing out of the hole or out of the socket hole right there so this is how I got it out so you're going to need this uh, magnetic uh, tools to uh, pull this um, spot plug out of the um, socket so I'm going to put the new one in okay so okay this one in here. Drop this. Try to tie this thing out. Use hand to tighten the spark plug first before using the socket wrench. Not over tight, you will have trouble. If it's this thing breaks, then that's no good. So I think that should be enough. Okay. Uh, put this um, ignition. Now it's time to put this um, ignition coil back in. So I think it's going to be this way. Okay, let's tie this thing back in there. Like I said, don't over tight it or you're gonna have a problem. Okay. Once done, three to go. Okay, I found out that it is best for you to work on this um, to leave this thing unplugged so that you have more rooms to work on this thing right here. You see this one right here? So don't plug this thing in and so that you have more room to work on this uh, bolt or screw right here. Keep the distance so that when you turn it does not break this part right here that's how I found out the best way to do it so I always leave it unplugged until I finalize uh, um, the last one now it's time to work on the second spark plug
just want to put this thing back in there so that I'm blocking this thing right here. I don't want to uh, put the uh, connector in there yet. I just want to tie this thing in so I don't drop anything or inside the hole. Two down, two to go. Working on the third spark plug. Just hang tight for now. Now it's time to do the last one. This will be a little bit difficult. Patient, patient, patient is the key. So be careful. You don't want to break any part or anything. Once you break something, you're in big trouble.
Okay, this is the last one to put, uh, to put in here. This is the last one to install. Always, always use your hand to tight first, to tight first. You don't want to overdo and make sure it goes smoothly and you don't want anything to break. So be careful, like I said earlier, patient, patient is the key for success. Now it's time to start using the tools. Like I said, don't over tight it. to install the initial coil. Let's go this way. Okay. Now, time to finalize the installation. Use the hand tight the screw first. Okay, now it's time to tie this cable, I mean this uh, screw or bolt back on. Like I said, don't over tight it. It's enough to keep this thing secure. Same thing on this one. Okay. Now it's time to plug this thing back on. Make sure it click, otherwise it's not properly connected. So yeah, make sure it click. Okay. Okay. Now it's time to start the engine and see how things goes. As you can tell, the light, the air check engine light is gone. 
I have this tire uh, pressure light stay on because I have one of their um, uh, tire pressure uh, monitor system win bad. So this we got that one. And over here on this side, the um, um, track of light is off now. So I am in good shape and good job and job well done so hopefully this video will help you to replace um, a check engine light and a uh, off track or track off light so thank you for watching and uh, hopefully this will help you uh, troubleshooting or repair your own car without some expensive repair so thank you have a nice day these are tools i used for the job locking plier flat screw drivers small and medium socket wrenches number 10 and number 14 sockets and six inches wrench extender magnetic pickup tool Thank you.